Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Ken, a.k.a. KSJ, and we're gaming. Today's vid, you're going to see about the C3 ZR1, my favorite live race car. What I mean by live is I have live tune in this car. I'm going to tell you also uh, um, how, to, how to pretty much bait those multiple 200K bets. You also are going to want to wait to the very end so you can learn how to go ahead and take a live tune car and bring it right into a service trial and win every single one. I mean, completely just demolish your opponent every time. If you want to check it out, see some big bets, have some fun, I'll see you on the inside. Fix the tune on it because I have a couple different tunes. I got a we have a quarter mile. We have a quarter mile mile tune and we also have a half mile tune. I actually put this on a spreadsheet, believe it or not, so I can't remember all these damn cars. Hold on one second. Okay, so my fave one of my favorite cars to live race is this car just because you can totally manipulate the dyno times on this like you can tune it to be the ultimate live racing machine so let's let's take a look at it all right here's what i gotta do i'm gonna take the engine knock this down to zero <clears throat> Say 11 no 16 028. Okay, we, we just ran 9 6, which is not that great. <laughs> Now look, we're dynoed at 11.4. That's not good, so here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, now we're dynoed at 15.3. Let's see what we do. See that? Look at that. <laughs> so I dropped it. Mind you, I was at like a lose ran a 9 2. So, so I went from 11 4 to 15 3, and I and I increased from a 9 a nine 6 to a 9 2. So these are the kind of changes that, that you want, right? Or negative 999 in this. It off it at 210. I don't want to no more. We're going to go take it to a race. Okay, let's take it to a race. He already completed the Tempest 2. Because he has that 2 next to his name. Alright, let's see. You know what? We're just going to start off. Let's just do like a little 35 wood. 35,000. We'll see what he does. Okay, and he brought this car into... Um, if you notice it, it was light blue. <clears throat> I don't know. He's the same as me. Type 3, or Tier 3, so we'll see what he does. I'm going to gauge it a little bit to see how quick he is. Right off the bat, I'm going to hit this. Okay, we're going to Oh, he actually got me. So, <clears throat> it's okay. What do you run? A 9-6? I know I can beat a 9-6. I'm going to see if he wants to rerun. Hopefully he wants to go for some money. We'll see. Okay. I want to take it all the way. We'll see what he does. He already won 35. He just put 5 on there. So 35 of it's for free. 
He may refuse this and be like, well, I'm scared. He didn't. So, let's hope I actually have him out tuned. Like, for real. Because now, all the cards on the table, and this is where the rubber meets the road. Backed up just a little bit, just to show you guys, that's how you do it. That's how you get the money. 9-2, 9-8, he got a bad lift off. But he's okay with it because he just got a royal ass beaten. So it cost me 35 to go ahead and get that two back. So yeah, I'm still up 165 on it. That's okay. Now he knows. He might even leave the lobby now because he might be upset about that. <laughs> oh, he wants to go again. Let's see what happens. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe he didn't look at the times. I'm going to do it again. Let's do another 200K on him. See, see if he's like, yeah, I'm ready to lose it again. Or he might really think that he can win. <laughs> okay, I'll give him a break. Next time he wants to race, I'll only do it for 150. But I won't challenge him because I'll lose my gas pip and I'll lose the advantage of being able to name my price if you want to race me again. But sometimes you got to be careful. You're not always the fastest, you know, fastest in the lobby. But uh, I got 46 mil, so or 45 mil, whatever the hell it is. So I'm not worried about it. <laughs> now, see the cars that are in light blue. That means they were brought into the Tempest, and they have the uh, elite bonus. Now these cars are real fast. These Ferrari 250s are really fast in the back end, so you gotta be careful. I usually let them go ahead of me a little bit, and then I'll kick it in. As you'll see how fast these things are. I can't even catch up to them. Look at, look how fast. I can't even catch up to them. <clears throat> Let's see what he ran. Damn, he ran 9.5. Dude, he's faster than that T3 car. Oh man, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and pause this because I'm going to watch some ads here. All right, guys. I am back. Watch the ads. And so you know, uh, your tank will go from blue to yellow to purple. So you can have a total of 30 gas pips total. And that's the max as of right now. Now, this guy actually would beat me with my current tune. Because if you look, it took him a 0.8 to release. So you minus that 0.8 from the 9.5. I mean, this guy right here is running, what is that, an 8-8, eight, eight, is it? Yeah. You know, run like an 8-8, eight, 8-7. Eight, eight, so, guys like this, you got to be careful with. Because look, at I, I couldn't even chase him down right away. You know, but I'll race him again and see. He could just really be a shitty freaking launcher. Well, we know his car is capable of an 8.8, which is definitely four tenths faster than us. Like I said, you, you never know. You, you, you're not always the fastest one. <clears throat> so he took that car through Tempest, and he completed the Elite with it. That's why it's showing up um, light blue. see what he raced at uh, nine seven with a nine seven so I know that I can beat him because he ran nine seven with a point eight three a point zero eight three so he must be ten now he could have been sandbagging but I'm pretty sure I saw him hit that uh I'm pretty sure I saw him hit that nitrous in there so I'm confident that I would do this right here and we'll see what happens so we know that cars in the lobby are running at least like eight sevens. And I can run a nine two, eight seven, eight eight. So we're gonna see what happens. And I backed up right at the 
last second because I saw that I had them. And this is how you win it, folks. He ran his 9.7. He would have ran a 9.5. I ran a 9.2. There's another 200 grand in the bank. So this skull, this skull, this guy, Matt L. Outlaws, he's the one. We're going to stay here and we're just going to win some stuff. Like I said, got to be careful with these cars. We'll just do 15. Nothing crazy. But hey, they add up. I'm just going to let this play continuously until all my gas pipes are done. And it's always good to lose some matches too, just so you know. Because it does the reset with the um, with the game. So okay, no big deal. I lost 15 grand. I ain't really worried about it. Cause I get to stay in the lobby. He ran a 9-4. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna request him to race with him and see if he actually will, will do another one and increase his bet. I'm confident that he's close to 9-4. Who was that guy? Was it Matt? Hey, what's up, guys? The other uh, video, the other uh, video, got cut short. wasn't able to finish completing. Um, just so you know, this is going to be the second tutorial of live racing. Let's get it done. Now what I always do also is I always hit live racing first before anything else and I complete that first just because that gives me my bronze, that gives me my keys. Let's see if this Canadian guy is uh, any good. Go back. Canadia! Alright. I'm going to try because I, I hold the device in my hands so I'm going to try not to like... Stuff, so it's not like all up in your ears so this is what we're working with right now okay so this guy free race but I want to just hit these 15 races and be done let's see what he ran maybe I need to rematch quick he ran a 9-9, minus 4. So he's running a 9-5. I'm going to see if he wants to... wants to bet. Because if so, I'm taking all of his money. Okay. I'm beating him anyways. I tried sandbagging a little bit. Like I said, it's good to sandbag. It's good to lose, it's good to lose some, some races. Because the, the computer realizes that, you know, you're in a lobby that you're losing. So it makes it fair. If you're constantly winning every single one... What did, he, did I not hit my fast enough? He ran a 9-4, which I expected, remember, because he ran a 9-9 minus the, the .5 or the .4. I'll race him one more time. If it's going to be for some money, then I'm not going to hold back. Okay, here we go now. He hasn't bet anything the other times. So let's see if he actually wants to do something. I mean, he should be confident because he legitimately did beat me twice. So I'm going to see if he's going to raise all in. Ah, here we go. We're, we're maxing it. I mean, be careful what you ask for, right? <laughs> Just because I don't like to go fully all retard with it. And unfortunately, I ran one of my fastest. Oh, I, I realized what I was doing wrong, by the way, fellas. 
um, or ladies and gents. <laughs> um, with this car, you want to go deep green every time. I'm going to race him again just to see if he wants to. I, I, I want to see if he wants to race me again. So I'm going to stay in here for just a second. But I'm, I have no need to stay in this lobby. Okay, so here he comes again. We're going to do the full, the full bet. To be like, we just raced for 200. I'm going to give you a chance to get your money back. Here we go. So if he didn't like pay attention to my time, he must think that he can beat 9-1. Let's see. off he probably got a bad start let's see what he got he didn't get a bad start <laughs> you know what so he just maybe wanted to see if it was a fluke i'm gonna wait right here again to see if he wants to race me again <laughs> just because i'll take these free 200ks all day long so we'll see I'm gonna stay right here oh no it's a different guy now i don't know to, but if I'm gonna race, I'm gonna make it worth my while, so we'll see. I'm willing to stay and lose a gas pit for 100 grand. Let me see if this guy wants to do something. Oh no, he, he left. So that, my friends, is how you how you do the live racing, um, and what I really like about it overall. So. Um, Let's go hard with it, I guess, just to see. Now, the T2, the, the Boxster, the Boxster, the Boxster, actually. Anyways, the Porsche. Everybody wants to stop. The only way we're racing is if we're doing high stakes, so screw it, because I really don't want to waste a gas pit if I don't necessarily have to. But this will scare them off, and they'll accept it. And who knows? I might just legitimately lose. So... Because mind you, I was in I was in here with a T2 car that we knew had the potential to run at the 8.6 or the 8.7. Oh no, that is starting my nitrous. See, you heard his car. So these cars, the, the Ferraris, if you don't tune them correctly, they'll max at 150 ish, 160. Let's see what he did. He was like winding out. He was like completely winded out. Look at that, 149, like I said, 150, depending on your tune. So that's why I backed up at the end. I heard his car for like a half second, just So I knew that I could, that I could back up and I didn't have to keep on pushing. So like I said, I really like the Corvette, but believe it or not, I have all my cars like tuned down to win live races. But I'm gonna get out of this because eventually the, the uh, system will boot me out um, because of the uh, constantly one in that lobby. And I like that lobby, so I want to stay there. <laughs>